Quite a different game against Imanaga than last time. What was the difference today? Yeah, we uh, we took his hitter away. You know, we were ready for the fastball. Uh, and when we got pitches in the zone, especially with the fastball, we were ready to go. Uh, Lindor on the first inning, and obviously JD uh, for the three-run homer. Um, Alvarez got him on a fastball up in the zone, got on top of it. Uh, so, yeah, one through nine. Um, yeah, I thought the approach was great um, because we were ready for his fastball. When you have that kind of game against a guy who's having that kind of year, what does it tell you right now? <laughs> I keep saying it. We got good players. We got good hitters. You know, we're executing our game plan. Uh, guys are going out there uh, with conviction, uh, not giving in, not giving away a bat, and they're ready to go when they're getting their pitches. So, um, again, it's not only having a good approach, but uh, going out there and executing. How much of this of today in your mind was, you know, having a sense of Imanaga that you may didn't have last time versus the offense just being in a very different place than it was back then? Yeah, I, for me, that's, that's the key, you know. It's a... Uh, one through nine, everybody's clicking, you know, uh, and we can do damage. We get guys on, we're getting big hits. Uh, our approach with runners on base continue to get better. Um, so, yeah, I think it's a combination of a lot of things, but it comes down to having good hitters right now that are executing uh, their approaches. What do you think of what the Glaciers is bringing to this lineup? Uh, you know, bat to ball skills, huge uh, hits, runners in scoring position. Uh, not an easy at bat, you know, he's not going to give away anything. Um, you saw it. I like the energy. 11-1 in the last at bat, and for him to run down the line and, you know, beat out that double play tells you all you need to know right there. The way he's playing the game and it's contagious. You know, it's contagious. So it's huge to have a guy like that. You've talked for a long time about the quality of hitters in that room. Was there ever a, a doubt in your mind, or did you ever waver in thinking that this type of thing would happen eventually? Yeah. Well, you know, you got really good players. They're good hitters, you know, and understanding that it's hard at times. And they're going to go through stretches where it's not going to be easy for them, uh, but eventually they're going to come out of it because they're too good of a player, too good of a hitters. And, uh, you know, it's 162, and you just have to stay consistent. you got to keep working, um, and that's what they've done. What's it been working for you with the plate since you up here? Um, like I said earlier, just competing every bat. Um, try to win every pitch, and um, it's just – Try to help the team. Try to be on base any way I can to continue to continue to trivial the score runs for the guy. When you come up that last at bat, how much are you thinking? Five for five would be sweet. It's just like my first at bat. Um, just try to, you know, try to put a good at bat together, and um, nothing different. But the, uh, like the first one, it was just another big at bat. How would you describe the vibes right now? It's pretty good. The guys are, are you know, like I said earlier, game. Um, the guys are doing a pretty good job turning the page and preparing for the next game. To, um, simplify the game one day at a time. I think we're doing a pretty good job energy-wise, communication-wise. It's We're in a really good place. Yeah, uh, nobody's hit in Monaga that hard basically all season long. Uh, they were saying you guys were like keying in on the fastball. I mean, how unusual of a fastball is it, and how important is it that you guys get on top of that to, to get on it? I mean, I would say that's that's baseball, right? You gotta you gotta hit fastballs, and uh, I think the team's pretty good job with it. Um, and like I say, we just take it one day at a time, and uh, it was a great day today. JD, you were able to set the tone today against Imanaga. What specifically did you see from him? Um, for me, it was just you know he fell behind early, um, and then he just gave me a good fastball to hit. Um, on the two-one pitch, and you know, I feel like his fastball compared to when we faced him at home had a little bit less. I would say, like just life on it. He had more of life at home, so um, that's pretty much it. What does it say about the lineup to have this kind of performance and it's guys having that kind of year? Yeah, um, I mean, we know we have a good lineup. I feel like you know. We kind of preach it, and sometimes it shows up, and sometimes it doesn't. Um, but it's just baseball. Uh, I think you know today, and, and you saw it in Arlington that first game too. It just you know it's, it's the kind of potential this lineup has. Well, the lineup from top of the um, like uh, trying to hit the uh, press ball. That uh, the homework worked out very well. Um, yeah, he's got a great fastball. That's his, you know, <coughs> best pitch. Um, so it's one of those guys where you got to be ready for his fastball. You know.